drug of the day, mebendazole, pharmacological classification, anthelmintics. It is a benzimidazole introduced in 1972. This congener of thiabendazole become very popular because it retained the broad-spectrum anthelmintic activity but not the toxicity of its predecessor. Possible routes of administration, by mouth, bioavailability, 2 to 10 percent. Elimination half-life, 3 to 6 hours. Mechanism of action, mebendazole works by selectively inhibiting the synthesis of microtubules via binding to colchicine binding site of beta-tubulin, thereby blocking polymerization of tubulin dimers in intestinal cells of parasites. Disruption of cytoplasmic microtubules leads to blocking the uptake of glucose and other nutrients, resulting in the gradual immobilization and eventual death of the helminths. Indications. Mebendazole is a highly effective, broad-spectrum antihelmintic indicated for the treatment of nematode infestations, including roundworm, hookworm, whipworm, threadworm, pinworm, and the intestinal form of trichinosis prior to its spread into the tissues beyond the digestive tract. Dosage forms and strengths. Mebendazole is available as 100 mg chewable tablet, 100 mg orally twice a day, morning and evening, for three consecutive days, 100 mg, 5 ml suspension. The dose and duration of treatment is the same for children above two years as for adults, half dose for one to two year age. Mebendazole is one of the preferred drugs for treatment of multiple infestation and is more effective than albendazole in trichuriasis. It has also been used for mass treatment, but need for multiple doses is a drawback. Adverse effects. Mebendazole is well tolerated even by patients in poor health. Diarrhea, nausea and abdominal pain have attended its use in heavy infestation. Allergic reactions, loss of hair and granulocytopenia have been reported with high doses. Safety of mebendazole during pregnancy is not known, but it is contraindicated on the basis of animal data. Patient counseling, 1. You should not use mebendazole if you are allergic to it, or if you also take metronidazole. 2. Mebendazole can pass into breast milk and may harm a nursing baby. You should not breastfeed while using this medicine. 3. A mebendazole tablet may be swallowed, chewed, or crushed and mixed with food. 4. Use this medicine for the full prescribed length of time. Your symptoms may improve before the infection is completely cleared. Skipping doses may also increase your risk of further infection that is resistant to antibiotics. 5. Wash your hands and fingernails often, especially before you eat or after using the bathroom. 6. You cannot cure a worm infection by fasting, starving, using laxatives, or forcing yourself to vomit. For best results, take this medicine as directed. So that's for today, if you found this helpful, please do subscribe.